guys, so in this makeup tutorial I'm going to show you how I created this fall inspired makeup look uh, since everything outside in the nature is brownish, yellow, reddish toned I thought why not and transfer that in my makeup looks so yeah, that's what I did this look is very red, orange and brown inspired so I hope you're going to enjoy and thank you for watching Mwah. So the first thing that we're going to do is use a primer. Like always, primer is a must. Don't forget about it. So I'm just going to put it on my hand and just put it all over my face. Okay, so when we're done with the primer, up next is the foundation. For foundation, I'm going to use this one. It's from Bourjois Paris, a healthy mix foundation. And it has like with vitamin mix. So I guess it makes your skin more healthy looking. And I'm wearing it in the shade 52 Vanilla. And oh, in this tutorial, I'm going to mix this one, uh, the foundation from Bourjois, with the Sleek Makeup Bare Kissed Illuminator, just so it gives you like a more glowy look all over and just dewy look. So it's like really, really good and really nice. So I just mix it on my hand and I put one pump of the illuminator and then more pumps of the foundation and I'm running out of it. Then you mix it. This is like my favorite trick if you want like really dewy looking skin. And like in the winter, it's a pretty good tip to know since our skin gets like really dull looking, vitamins, deficiency. And you just put it all over your face. When you mix the foundation with the illuminator, it also makes it like more just transparent. It's not as like it loses a bit of coverage, but I personally like the two, these two mixed together are just the best combination. It really gives you that natural dewy highlighty look I'm going for. Okay, now that we have our face caked up, we go next. To beauty blender just use a moist one you know so you wet it before and blend it in with like the tap motion tap 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 and just put it in your skin I don't know if you can see but I like really noticed the fact that I mixed in the illuminator it like the skin is so much more glowy and dewy all over and with like foundations you usually don't get the effect but it depends if you like like more matte skin then don't do this because you won't like it but I really am not a fan of matte looking skin because for me it kind of look looks a bit unnatural because if you're like wearing no makeup you can always see a bit of glow in your skin just like that next is the concealer <laughs> so for concealer i'm using this one it's from catrice cosmetics the liquid camouflage high coverage concealer this one is one of my favorite concealers in the drugstore. Um, it's quite cheap, I think it's like 4 euros and I always run out of it so quick quickly. I've heard people say that too, so you don't get a lot of it. But it's a good concealer, considering it's from drugstore. Just put it on the high points of your face. Now, I just need to tell you where I put this concealer. I put it on my forehead, under my uh, brows, and around my lips, and uh, like under my under eye in a triangular shape. And then again, blend! Blend, 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 blend. Next, we're going to the setting powder. For the setting powder, I'm going to use this one. It's from Bourjois Paris again. I really like this brand. I, I found it that it like makes very 
natural looking makeup so it's really really good this is again the natural matte finish healthy glow powder i use it in the shade 2052 vanilla and just tap that on the eyelid under your eyes I like to put in the winter especially because of my dry skin the powder only where I get like creases that meaning on my eyelid under my under eye and a uh, forehead and a bit around my mouth because of the smile lines and that's it it like prevents looking cakey So next thing that we're going to do is contouring. For contouring, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Medium Dark Protection Palette. And I'm just going to use the shade, like the darkest powder shade that you get it. And you just kind of slide your makeup brush through this and contour. underneath my nose so it visually lifts it up kind of like an illusion and underneath my chin if you like to contour underneath the chin make sure you blend it out really really well otherwise it will just look like you don't have the right shade of your foundation so make sure you really blend it out And of course, end of my forehead. In this look, I'm also going to use a bit of blush from this palette. It's just next to the contour shape, so you get everything in one. Just like this. Next is the blush. For blush, I'm going to use this not so full of bristles brush and just kind of tap it on very lightly tap tap and you get a bit of color and then you just tap on your cheeks very very lightly and then you blend it out okay this is this next we're going to highlighter for highlighter i'm going to use this one it's from BU um, Let It Glow Highlighter Stick. I don't think it has a shade though. It only says Shimmering Highlighter Stick. It's like a cream stick, so it's not complete powder. You put it on the V of your lips. I don't know. So here, on your nose, underneath your eyes, on your chin, and you just kind of go like U. Here. Do you see it? And then you blend it out with your beauty blender. And here again. And there you go. You have yourself a very, very shimmering looking look. Just blend it out. I really like this stick. It's like very quicker than the highlighting with your brush and a powder. So it's like when I'm in a hurry, this is my way to go. Next, we go to eyebrows and then we continue. There we go, that's it. Okay, so now we're just going to line our brows with a pencil very slightly. You basically just like fill the brow, don't go overboard or anything. Like this, and then you take the brush and brush it through really well. That's what it makes it look natural. Brush it down and up. Okay, now I'm going to take this kind of brush, it's very flat, and we're going to carve out our eyebrows so we get this more defined look. You just take your concealer and go all around your eyebrows. Shoop, shoop, shoop. <laughs> oh 
Okay. Just like this. Then you take, I'm going to take like a small beauty blender. I wetted it before and just blend it in again with the foundation. This is how you get like really carved out eyebrows. Ta-da! And next we go to the brow gel. So we're just gonna fix our brow hairs on place so they don't move. And the brow is also going to be more durable during the day. For this, I use this one. It's the brow gel filler from Trend It Up. It's a DM brand. Next, we'll just go to the other eyebrow that is the same as this one. We just repeat the whole thing and we'll see you later. So the first thing that I'm going to use is this eye primer. It's from Freedom Be Free to Makeup Cosmetic. And I'm just going to put it all over my eye so the eyeshadow will stick to it and won't budge. And I'm just taking the small beauty blender from Real Techniques and blend it in. Now we're going to take this duct tape. It's basically for injuries or anything like that. And we're going to make this very, very nice cut. When you stick it on, make sure it ends with your eyebrow ends and it starts from your eye to your eyebrow. And just make sure it's really well on. And we go to the shadows. The first shadow that I'm going to use is a basic shadow. It's in the color of our skin just so we get like this nice base next i'm going to take this uh, light brown color and just kind of cut out my crease okay so next we go to this dark orange shade right here and just carve out our crease <laughs> and just go through it this color for me i think is one of the favorite eyeshadows out there do you see like how cinnamon looking it just starts to get while we blend so beautiful just like this on the corners of our eyes, we're going to use this. It's like a copper orange color. And we just go in, start from the outer corner. Next, we're going to take this, the kind of reddish shade. And again, carve out our crease. Okay, now we really get that kind of Christmassy fall looking eye. And next we're just going to take the other palette and the orange shade that it's right here. And just kind of put it right in the middle of our eye. Now this is also a matte shade, so it kind of doesn't reflect, which I really like in this look. It kind of makes it more for every day. Now we're just going to take like a very pointy brush and a dark brown eyeshadow and put it right in the outer corner of our eye. And take it down so it looks like you have like an eyeliner. And then again with the copper shade over it and just kind of blend it out. This is the finished look. After you do this, you take your blending brush and kind of blend it all in. Just like this. Then you just take this off. You get this nice sharp line. It's like kind of what you prefer, but you can put like your eyeliner right here. We're going to do this today because my eyes are very appropriate for eyeliner, but if you have more hooded eyes, maybe you shouldn't do it. Just because if you have hooded eyes and you put on your eyeliner, it's going to very close your eyelid and make your eyes actually look smaller than they are. Now we're just going to take our highlighter and highlight the points in the inner corners 
of our eyes just like this now next we're just going to take an eyeliner now for this look I'm going to use an eyeliner from Kika Cosmetics it's the precision eyeliner and you just take it in and you just feel the gaps underneath the eye I'm going to put the same matte shade that we put on the center of our eyelid and just put it right there And that is it. Okay, so now that we're done with our eyes, we're just going to set our whole face with this setting powder. It's the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Surprise, surprise, you've never thought. So you just put your MAC Fix Plus here and you all over your face. I use it too much. Okay, so now that you're wet, like you came out of the pool, you just let it dry and let your makeup collide together and then we'll see you on the lippy part. Lippy. So for the lips, I'm going to use this one. It's uh, a lip liner from Trend It Up, Contour and Glide in the shade i think this only has numbers just let me find it oh 480 and you just line your lips with it now for the lips i'm going to use two lipsticks together the first one is the Golden Rose Long Stay Liquid Matte Lipstick. It's in the shade 12 and the lighter one is in this. It's the same lipstick but it's in the shade 16. So we're gonna start with the darker shade and just put it all around our lips. And just like this and the bottom lip the same. Just like this. Now we're gonna take the lighter shade and put it in the inner parts of our lips. Then you take your lip brush and kind of collide them together. That's it for the lips. Okay, so now that we're done with our lips and our eyes, the only thing that's missing is a R A A <laughs> is our mascara. So for mascara, I'm again going to use the same one. It's from Dior, the Dior Iconic Extreme and the uh, Dior Maximizer 3D Triple Volume Plumping Lash Primer. So yeah, after we've done our mascara, I'm just going to line my inner waterline with a black pencil and the look is finished. So let's just get to mascara and that's it. Okay, so now for the mascara part, we're just gonna use our lash primer to put it on. Just like this. And the lower lashes. Okay, now we take the Dior mascara and just go through, again, just the same as we did with the primer. And lower lashes. And lower lashes. <laughs> 